What's up everyone, Ronnie Cruz here with Path of the Network Marketer 365 day video challenge where I bring you a fresh new video every day chronicling my adventures as I learn how to leverage social media to build my network marketing business so that I can in turn teach you to do the same. Um, okay, so yeah, yeah, this is uh, a little late today uh, and I am doing a video on the day that it's being published. Um, yeah, just uh, with everything that's going on, it's been a it's been a little bit of a challenge keeping up with uh, with the videos, uh, and I haven't really yeah well I haven't done anything on social media outside of YouTube. Um, I haven't really been posting this week, um, given everything that's happened. But anyways, um, I did want to continue with this because it, I I'm on a streak and it's it's uh again it's become habit at this point. We're we're in our the mid fifties. I mean, 50, 50 videos, 50 days, 50 plus days of, of, of video every day. It, it's, you know, it starts to set in as habit. So um, I wanted to keep it going, keep the ball rolling and, and keep the momentum on this channel going as well. So that's why we want, had a video for you today. Right, Kyla? Hi. Good boy. Okay, so in this episode, I just want to kind of go over what I'm experiencing or at least what I'm observing about um, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok in regards to shelf life of the content that you post, that you put out there. Um, because again, I, I I did, as I mentioned, I you know haven't been posting this week. Uh, my usual you know three a day on TikTok, one a day on one or two a day on Instagram, three a day on on Facebook. I haven't been posting at all, um, and I've noticed. <clears throat> I've definitely noticed uh, different behaviors in each one of them um, in terms of in terms of the longevity and again shelf life of the content that I've already that that I posted from last week. So my observations are as follows: uh, Instagram definitely is twenty four hours. It's, you got a shelf life of twenty four hours, maybe forty eight, um, but the engagements drop off dramatically after the first twenty four hours. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the nature nature of of, of the beast. Uh, so if you if you're not posting at least once a day um, on Instagram, then y y yeah, yeah. You you gotta really like as a as a content creator for Instagram, you've got to churn out at least one one piece a day. Um, two, if you're if you're still really just building your channel, but once a day, I think is is pretty solid. I've gotten back to to well prior to prior to this past week. Um, I had gone back to one a day, which that adjustment seemed to have helped my uh, stabilize my views. Um, as you guys have known, uh, like from the past episodes, I've talked about how inconsistent uh, Instagram has been. Um, but taking it back down to one a day for me has has leveled it out and, and has made the uh, the views more stable. That said, because I haven't posted in a week, it's... Um, there's no engagement. There's nothing happening. So that that to me tells me that um, the shelf life of your content on Instagram is short and therefore you need to constantly, well, with all of them, but specifically Instagram, there needs to be a consistent posting every day. Um, with TikTok, it, it, I find with TikTok that videos that I posted maybe a week ago or even some like like longer than a week but generally generally the week is a time frame um those will sh will show up and st still show up in people's feeds like actually you know for for me I have a friend who who um is a horse instructor she te she teaches um uh she coaches um uh, uh racers uh, what do we call it? jockeys? Not really. Yeah, I guess maybe jockeys, um, but barrel racers. She she coaches them. She has a she has a riding coach, riding coach business, and <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. But anyways, I follow her on TikTok, and and I notice in my feed I still see posts from her from like back in a couple months ago, right? So so again, I think with especially I don't follow that many people on on uh, on TikTok. That might be why. So that way they keep my feed going and, and they keep content in my feed. Um, the, yeah, well, 
the the TikTok, uh, I, I I potentially could could be looking at her stuff from uh, from months ago, right? And, and and so, I guess it depends on how many people you're following on TikTok, but I I think that's that's kind of cool because then you know that definitely gives your videos a longer shelf life depending on how many um you know people the individual or you are following right um so yeah 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 that yeah i mean i prefer like obviously with something like youtube it's got it's got a there's not really a time limit for the shelf life it's there right um but i i find that pretty cool about tiktok that i can that i potentially can have videos um on there that are still getting traction from you know a, a week ago you know what i mean um and i'm seeing that i've seen that this week given that i haven't posted anything there's still engagement there's still interaction um with facebook i'm i'm getting a lot of traction on that as well i mean from from uh i mean like facebook for me is a, a little bit skewed because i have a lot of following from my network marketing company people are connected connected with in that realm um as well as you know my colleagues in network marketing that I've met over the years uh the posts however also have longer shelf life um I'm finding people are still engaging with stuff again a week two weeks um that have been up and I'm I'm and it's showing continue to showing continuing to show up in people's feeds that aren't already connected to me right like that aren't necessarily already following me so my following is growing on on facebook so for those of you guys who are like facebook's dead and and this and that don't sleep on facebook right don't sleep on facebook again i generally don't concentrate on facebook because that particular platform can for me consists of a lot of people like that are already part of my company or whatever however it's still as far as the potential reach I mean, there's, I don't know what the number was, but there's a, there's a ridiculous number of people around the world on Facebook that you still haven't tapped into. So like, let's say I have, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with 4,000 people. Um, there, that's just a drop in the, in the bucket, in the ocean of potential people I can, I can reach with Facebook. So yeah, don't sleep on Facebook. And I love that. I love knowing that content um, has a longer shelf life than Instagram as well. So for me, the, like the, the advantage of, of Facebook and, and, and TikTok is that the, the, the content has a longer shelf life. So again, if you're, I mean, if you're posting anyways, if might as well post to three, uh, on those three platforms and, and just take advantage of, of, of them as much as you can. Um, but on, with the understanding that, that Instagram is definitely a shorter shelf life, 24 hours, 48 max. Um, and with, with Instagram, with me not posting as much as uh, on Instagram, it's, it's actually okay. Cause I have banked, um, content from the other two that I can just do like once a day on Instagram. So, um, you, you don't, you're able to, you're able to kind of stock up on, on content and publish, um, publish those on, on Instagram on a day to day. Right. Um, so that's it. That's it. Shelf life of, of content on these platforms, Instagram, shortest shelf life, 24, my observation, 24 to 48 hours, um, TikTok and Facebook a little longer, some a week, um, um, two weeks, maybe, uh, in, and, and on TikTok, even up to a couple of months, depending on how many people you're following, right. Um, or how many people your audience is following on that, right. If, if, uh, if your followers are only following like less than a hundred people, you're going to show up on their feed a lot. And a lot of your older content will continue to show up on their feed. So that's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Have you guys made any observations as far as shelf life of the content on these platforms? Let me know. Um, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. I mean, again, let's learn from each other. This is definitely, um, a two way conversation. If we, as much as we can make it, uh, comments would be appreciated. Uh, beyond that, we'll just catch you in the next one. So until then guys, uh, be well, be safe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.